Okay, everybody, welcome to another pit tour. This is RC Unlimited's. Um, and again, I don't know what race it is. I should know the names of the races. It really matters to some people. It's August 25th, Saturday, 2018. We're starting at this end of the pit uh, for no good reason other than right off the bat, I want to show you these, a couple of these boats right over here that are just astonishing. Uh, I haven't figured it out yet. Uh, right here. Be quite honest, I can't remember the name. Uh, incredible rocket ship. Uh, John Olson would be on the stick of this thing. I know it says Salt Walter on the side. Some of you guys remember that, gentlemen. What a beautiful nitro boat. Look at that. My goodness. You got to be old like me to dig that old wood, but it is just unbelievable. We're going to move on over to Fred's. I'm just going to go ahead and say it. Okay, we're this is the that. fastest, best handling round nose in the history of hydroplane racing. I'm sorry, I know some of you are going to disagree, but this thing is unbelievable, insane. Freddles. I'd show you the bottom of it, but he'd probably uh, smash my phone with a hammer or his foot or anything he had to to make sure that you couldn't see that. Check this out, brand new boat. Go ahead, you're allowed. <laughs> That's Gary blocking your view. Paul Jackson here built this. This thing is amazing. You should see it. I wish, you, I know the video's not doing the, the paint job justice, but it's just a gorgeous boat. Uh, he did have a little trouble in the left turn, broke the motor. Center section's gone, but he's a trooper. He zip tied her back together, stuck it back on there. Uh, so it looks terrific. Uh, Paul's other boat over here. Olympia Beer, good faithful boat. Also fast. The Sano Pit. Sano? Sano? Bob, is it Sano or Sano? Sano. Okay, Sano. It was neither. Nice Budweiser there. You guys remember that wing that was tried very briefly in full-size hydroplanes. Good morning, YouTube land. Yeah, one more time. There we go. Good morning, YouTube land. <laughs> Brian, you ready to go? Good morning, Brandon. 30 seconds. A little tent scale there. You go the wrong way. I drove one at the last race and I crashed many times. Man, it was hard. You remember this one? Executone, gas boat, beautiful boat, fast boat, always looks Check fantastic. Check out Mike Walker going all the way down to the end of the creek and picking up a dead boat. Another one, you can see this one's having surgery. Yeah, getting uh, intravenous fluids fed. And I really don't know what that was all about, but we'll... Uh, super secret uh, things going on over there another one here the, we're gonna hear these okay here we go maverick you're on the clock Gilmore three minutes Houston. Newer guy to the club, launching Too the boat forward. there. For Ken Olson. He makes those holes, by the way. Ken does. This is actually Jim's boat here. Another real Too beautiful third. Atlas gas boat. We gotta keep moving. You know what? We got 58 boats here today. Look at this Lumberville. And the tent scale version. Oh, we don't want to miss these over here. Here's a bunch of tent scales. And uh Gas? Yes. Electric. Two Electric eight scale. You could put gas in it, but it wouldn't do much good. Make a great fire, though. Two minutes. All ten scales here. It's fun. I had a lot of fun running it, but a lot more of a toy. Speaking of the ten scale electric boat, that is. Really nice, Miss Madison. 
super nice because Henry is just uh, crazy anal about it. He gets the tiniest little crack and he's like, what should I do, what should I do? I'm like, don't worry about it. Tape it up, run it. It's kind of war torn. I don't know if you can see all the tape. Ron Cole has been uh, kind of driving in braille with this boat. Matt Cowling is drifting out. 110. But it's back together and he runs her by golly. And Hauser Bush. Say going into the top by it. Nice boat. You see a little race day tuning going on here. One minute. It's windy here today, real windy. 55. Again. Another beautiful Miss Budweiser. Let's check out this 10 scale. 45. Look at this 10 pack. I've always loved this boat. I built it in 8th scale a while back. 40. I sold it right away. Um, no particular reason other than it just it was never really my favorite boat ever. Um, I just wanted the challenge of painting it. It was, it was a challenge. Somebody, uh, Joe, I'm going to say Joe Weebelhouse. Does that sound right? I think he's the guy that bought it. Another beautiful nitro here. Jim Kudich's boat. Not this one, the Qatar. This one's mine. The Eliminator. Check out that driver. He's in there. Gosh, it's fast today. And, oh, it's fast. Uh, Made a new prop. And Maverick, it doesn't like the rough, and the wind is going to kill us here. Oh! So, lap on the Maverick is coming in. We got points in the apex of the right turn in about lane two and three. Your lead boat is the Gilmore. It's like only two boats left running. We'll come off of that. We'll finish the tour and maybe we'll get to see another race here. Beautiful domino. Okay, we're going to do. Okay, we're just going to keep going. We're boat racing here. Here we have an Alberto. Gilmore is still in the lead. You can see it's late in the race season. You do what you got to do. You patch it up. Run it again. Okay, that one's on the water. Okay. Anyway. Okay, as soon as you come across, we're going to cut the... This is a familiar look for the Dalton. Yeah, so the wings are gone. Okay, we got, we got I don't know how many sets the uh, wings has gone through this year, but a little flighty, I guess. Harris Club. You might remember this one was all busted so up here a couple races ago when I shot a video. Brinkles, it, uh, it's all been fixed. So we're going to need a new crew up here, and we'll be right back with this arsenal. Back at it. Curse Light, you'll remember this one. Stupid fast. Unique cowling that Ken Muscatel came up with briefly. I forget the year now. I mean, I built the boat, but I don't remember what year it was. Uh, it didn't work, but he, he test ran it, and I thought, boy, that's a great cowling for a scale boat. Because that way you get all the benefits of the whole full-size hull with canard and all that. But he ran it without a horizontal, so this runs without a horizontal. And doesn't have the big air scoop, so kind of an ideal eighth scale nitro. Home Street. Also uh, late in the season. Running by Braille. You got this many boats running all at once. Things happen. It's Mike Malloy's pit. Look at this. Yes, they are both Circus Circus. Yes, they are both Nitro. That's a man that's serious about his points. He's going to run both boats. He will have to declare one of them as his points boat. Here's one we haven't seen in a while. It's the first run this year. Uh, many time champion David Brant's Pico. Not the snorkel one. This is his, I believe, his very first Pico. That. Uh, has always just been stupid fast, still is. Ron Shaw like this. This was a faithful CMB runner for many, 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 many years. Now has gone to the dark side. It helps, doesn't it, every now and then? Which, of course, the entire Brant pit now has purple motors. Some with a little less purple than others. 
Squire Shop Championship Boat. Notre Dame, winner of the first race of the year. I don't think he's got one since, but he's a threat every time. Bill's 10th scale and replica Notre Dame, but electric version. Okay, so we're coming up on FE. Executone, this boat is gorgeous. Paxton's gonna run it. That gentleman is one serious driver. Lane one's the only thing open. Well, he'll stick it in there. Full throttle. Yes, it will. He will need one more. Vulcan. There's a heck of a story here. Now this was an electric boat, a vowed electric. What are you fools running nitro for? It's so much hard work. Well, looky here. Yeah, baby. CMB though. And dang it, it's fast. Oh, the only thing it'll fit. Yeah, you can't. Oh, yeah, good point. Unless you cut that out. Uh, okay, structural items. Oh, here we go. I'm being directed to the front. Where national it says, record holder in FE. Oh, national record holder in FE. <laughs> well, if you're at the top, what are you going to do? Switch to nitro. Try it again. He hasn't won with it yet, but he's a threat every time. Look at this rocket. Of course, from the Bob Brackett stable, which is why it looks flawless at all times, no matter what. How many days? I heard a rumor that you built one of them in seven days. We built, a, designed and built a boat in four weeks. In four, four weeks, okay. From scratch to, it, it's a running boat. Four weeks. <laughs> Ron Hartley, you ready? Takes me a year and a half. Okay. Check this out. Put on the clock. Here we go. Heat 1A, FE. Oh, we're going to make some noise. Well, You're we're not going to make noise. We're going to run FE, so you're not going to hear a darn thing. Um, when four. they start running, I'll show it to you. So hang tight. They're lining up right now. It's all so quiet. It just doesn't seem fair. 130. Okay, the Grimbowski pit. I've told you this before. This is Jeff's boat. Um, you always used to think, well, Jeff's just out there running around, you know, you, the motor was running rich, and he's just kind of driving around and driving around and driving around. This year, I swear he gave the needle about a half a turn, and all of a sudden, 110. this thing is crazy fast, and he's on a mission to win. So, uh, look out. Gary's boat, this is beautiful. One minute. My gosh. I don't know, how do you describe that? 55. Just okay, so we got let's go with phenomenal. 50. Okay, here comes the uh, Eagle Electric here. 45. Look at that huge Bart. All those gas boats are so big. 40. Another Eagle Electric. Don't worry, I'm going to show you the race 35. in just a second. Everybody Good little Birdo. Here. Let's play nice. We're still We're in third. Jim Britton's pit 29. here. 28. I guess. 27. I don't know. 26. Jim's running 10th scale. 5. 24, Must be. It's in his pit. 22, 21, 20, All right, let's watch this. 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Wow, Good what a start. start. And Notre Dame takes it out front, followed by the executive. That'd be Bill Brandt out front. Oh, Paxson behind him. I think I probably missed that flip, sorry. That's the end of lap number one with the uh, Notre Dame. Way to go, Bill. I know it's windy, you probably can't hear a darn thing. We're going to watch the race for third here. Just a little bit. Hey, watch that. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, well, that's on film for all posterity. Well, we Looked like uh, Jeff kind of lost his way, made a hard right to avoid the debris, and created a tremendous amount of additional debris. Okay, that dead boat is on the infield. Cowling is in lane one there. That is unfortunate. Well, that race is pretty much over. Certainly over for the Dalton. Down, two to go. 
Give them to the keeper Whoa. with the Pringle. All right, I'm gonna, three down for the Pringle. I'm gonna put the video back on him. I think I missed it, but Bill just There's pulled a wheel stand down four. the back stretch. One more to go. Uh, taking a little easier this time. Can't blame him one bit. Oh, we almost. Oh, we got a race. Oh, the Executone cut a buoy. One more to go for the Executone. Yeah, you do whatever you got to do. You know, he's trying to catch him. But the Executone moved back in the second place. That's a win for Bill. Again. Okay. Sex side. That's a handful. A little round nose nitro boat. John Gaston's U95. I told you. Late in the year, they start looking kind of rough. Hey, cut the course, bring them on in. He'll fix it up and be beautiful next year again. Until we're down at the far end. Why? Because there's the ground. Always pits on this end. Kind of like me, I have a habit of pitting in a certain spot. You just do what you're going to do, right? Beautiful boat. Sorry, I, I love black race boats. I know they're hard to see on the race course and all of that. I've worked on black race boats, full-size boats. It's just too hot, it's just ridiculous, but man, it looks so cool. Pretty much on the opposite end spectrum from a bl basic black boat. Coming up in B and should be getting taped up right There's now. the Bellevue the Volkswagen. Ron Cole, Brad Lewis, Spirit of Nate Walter. So if you've never seen anybody this move the motor way up to the front before, that motor is in the, the front. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to have to paint a smiley face okay, on that. All those boats ought to be getting ready. We're going to be going on the clock here. Uh, as soon as the yeah, I do. Boat gets back. <laughs> Two wing hull. I'm kind of partial to these because my first uh, eight scale boat was the Miss X side that I, I ran for years. Won a couple races with it. Um, you get them right, they're they're really pretty neat. Really go. So now coming up after this heat, we got Nitro and Kirk Poppins, multiple champion. Second place the last race, I believe. Coming up in 1A, going to be the X side of John Gaston's Chrysler Jeep of Kirk Moffin. Okay, Kirk's Bloodline getting ready Lincoln. to go with his Chrysler Bonnie Jeep. Hopkins in the Eagle Electric 68, and Jeff Griffin in the Superior Racing. Maybe okay. we'll hang around and watch that the start of that one if we get the chance. The oh, well, we're still deck. picking up some so carnage out there. We might miss eight. it, folks. Then we'll be going with the, uh, but there's more. Don't give up. The Verners, I don't know if that's retired. Kirk, you're not giving up on the Verners, are you? It's just, it's just off the bench for now. Kirk, did you you bailing out here, or is it just off the bench for now? Okay, so it's going to run. Now. I think he's still trying to dial that one in. That one winds up upside down once in a while. Beautiful Elstrom. Man, we're still going. This is the end, though. Did you hang in there this long? Look at that tenth, tenth scale Parco's O-ring miss. Awesome. These 10 scales are really well, uh, uh, I was gonna say restricted, regulated maybe. Um, the rules require real specific things, such as, can you see it? Little tiny skid fin. That's a uh, class rule size and position. So if you wanna learn to drive, grab one of these. Whew. Not me. I'm not that good. All right, that's it for now. That's everybody. Maybe we'll catch a race here after a bit, so subscribe to my channel or check back. Maybe I'll try to put a link in at the bottom here or something. All right? All right, happy racing.